he met on the floor and it seems to be moving. Oh, happy anniversary to my brother and sister-in-law. Oh, I need to, I didn't realize today was that day. Hi everybody, Audra here. I'm hoping I have my camera lined up right. I'm also known as Twisted Chalker and I'm an independent creator with Chalk Couture. Oh good, it's lined up right. I have my cute computer in front of me so I can see what's going on. Oh, and I didn't turn the volume down first. Oh good, it's lined up right. Okay, yeah. You got to hear that part twice. <laughs> okay, so. It's the 4th of July, and I have a barbecue to go to this evening, so I thought I'd come on early this afternoon so that, um, yeah, I don't have to worry about it tonight when I get when I'm there, because it starts at like 6.30, and I don't know how late it's going to be. <laughs> so, 30 straight days, no matter what, and so I'm here doing the no matter what, and I'm going to turn the light on. Hold on just a second. There we go. I'm really liking this no matter what thing. Hi, Carrie. Happy 4th of July. Um, as I was saying, I'm, I'm liking this no matter what thing. And I think I'm going to start my challenges or going to be no matter what challenges I'm going to put on myself. Maybe I can get people to join me. That would be fun. No matter what charges. Made my bed today. I, I started... Yesterday, 30 days of make, straight days of making my bed, no matter what. <laughs> and today is day two, and I made my bed, so I'm excited. I normally don't make it. I just get out and start the day. So, okay. So, I am still doing projects with the July Club Couture Transfer, which is Life is a Bowl of Cherries, Make It Sweet. So I'm hoping you can see it. Well, surely you can see it. And I made this little sign, which is similar to what they have online for the leak um, on how on, on how to do it in a project that can be done with this. So um, I was supposed to mod podge it last night so I could sand it down, but I forgot to mod podge it. And it's not perfect, there's a little bit of air bubbles. I'm still struggling to learn this, but with practice it will get better. So in case you missed it yesterday, this what used to be the front of this door tag. This was a door tag that I picked up at Dollar Tree because I did not have a chocolate tour door tag on hand. And I covered the front of it with um, craft paper. Covered the front of it with craft paper and painted on the back of it. So now I'm going to mod podge this real quick and then excuse me, set it aside so it can dry. And maybe I'll have time to sand it before we leave. Okay, so. I'm going to lower you to the desk, so close your eyes if you get a little dizzy, and that's about as far as it's going to go. So let me see if that's the right angle. I think that will work. I think that will work. I'll just have to make sure I um, stay within the shot of the camera. So first, before I start today's project, I'm just going to take a little bit, I say a little bit, I, I got a ton of it. I'm just going to mud punch this. It's basically going to seal it. Seal it on there, and then when it's dry, I will sand off the edges. It may dry today, I might have to wait until tomorrow. It bubbles up a lot. I, I learned I need to learn the art of my podging this craft paper on without all the bubbles. I tried gluing it and letting it dry and that didn't work, so I need to figure something out. Maybe mod podge underneath and then lay something heavy on it. And hopefully it'll lay flat, but that means I have to do it in advance. No, I can't do that because it'll 
stick to whatever I lay on it. So that's not an option. Well, yes, it is because the Mod Podge won't be on top. Okay, I'll get it. I'll figure it out. In the meantime, I'll just have to let this one be wrinkled. Nobody's going to see the back of it anyway after this. It's just going to be sitting on my shelf. Okay, so it's all mud punched and I'll let it sit here and dry. Okay, so now, today, how's your day going, Carrie? Are you doing anything fun yet or are you waiting until tonight? I didn't bring the baggie, so I'm going to set that right there on top of that. So now, we're going to take this. Oh, 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 and I wanted to show you really quick. Yesterday, when I was unboxing everything, I showed you this transfer. Imagine Inspire. And I told you I made a shirt with this and then I ruined it. And so it was in my pajama drawer. And... Um, I didn't have it with me, so I thought I'd bring it in and show you. So we have this transfer, okay? And what I did was I put it on this shirt. I love it. I'm going to make another one. I just need to get to the store and get another shirt. This is what it, sh what it looks like on the front. So it says, Ima inspire in big words, and then it says, imagine in teal over it. Let me, let me see. I don't know if you can see that. Let me go closer. So there it is. And I decided to put the Chalk Couture logo on the sleeve. And so I laid the sleeve out. I took the sleeve and I laid it out like this. And I put the transfer on it and I did my ink. Well, I didn't think to put something inside the sleeve. And so it, um, it got messed up because the seam was under it and so I was trying to ink over the seam and it was white at first and um, then my friend who was just happened to be visiting me at the time had the idea to you know put teal over it and see if it would cover it up and it just made even a bigger mess so I'm gonna have to do another one but that is what the transfer actually looks like when you when you put it on something in in this manner i mean there's all kinds of ways you can use this but when it's done in this manner that's what it looks like i just thought i'd show you so that's that oh i almost put that right on top of the mud podge so i'm gonna set that aside because i don't need it i'm gonna turn on my my heat press because i will need that because tonight today this afternoon i am making a shirt for my mom Get all this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to be using Candy Apple Red Ink, Meadow Ink, and Black Velvet Ink. Okay? And we're doing a white shirt today, so I have to be extra careful. Make sure I don't get anything on it. Because for some reason, whenever I'm around white, it attracts everything. <laughs> everything! <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. This is our um, inking mat and it's a little bit on the sticky side and on the top and so I'm going to put it inside the shirt so that the shirt that I wear the spot where I plan to put the design is actually on the inking mat so that the shirt won't you know move around and stuff while I'm inking. Plus it will keep from getting the ink to it'll keep the ink from bleeding through and getting on the back side of the shirt. So, that one right here. All right. I hear our, I hear my, my work phone dinging. I think we're doing happy 4th of July wishes to the team. So I need to make sure I do that before I leave the room. So, that's about centered on the shirt, just like that. Happy 4th of July, Cheryl. Have you already started celebrating? I've been cleaning. <laughs> I 
Okay, so we know it's already written on because I wrote on it yesterday. I'm just going to center this on the shirt as best as I can. This is a v-neck, so I'm not going to go down too low. I did not fuzz it. There's no need to fuzz it when you're putting it on fabric. So I did not fuzz it. And I'm going to, I didn't bring my ruler, so I'm just going to do the best I can to... Oh, I'm centered. Yay. All right. So now, haven't started yet? Yeah, me either. I'm going to a barbecue at 630. <sighs> All right. So we have candy apple red. Ooh, I better not do that over the shirt. Not a very smart thing for me to do. <laughs> I've already got it all over my hands, and I have to wash my fingers before I touch my shirt. And then the green. This is ink instead of this is not chalk paste. So ink is not as forgiving as as the chalk paste is. So you have to be careful where you get it when you're using it. Throw that away. Now I'm making sure my hands are clean before I touch my shirt. No ink, no ink. All right, so I am going to do the words in black, the cherries in red, and then of course the leaves in green today. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do these little squirts. I might do them in red too because, you know, I don't know. I have to decide. Okay, right, so I'm going to do the... <laughs> Here we go. So now I'm just putting a nice coat of the ink wherever I see the screened area. I'm going to leave it on there pretty thick to begin with. So anybody going to fireworks? Was, are they having fireworks tonight? I think we had ours last night. I'm not sure. Let's see. Happy 4th of July, Sandra T. I'm so lucky you've been joining me quite a bit. Did you do more packing today? So I'm trying not to get the squirts because I'm not sure if I want to do the squirts in red or black. That's why I'm going slow. I might do them in red because there's a lot of black here. And cherries are red. So I have my heat press here and it only takes 30 seconds on each side when you do use the heat press. But if you want to set it and you don't have a heat press, all you need is your iron turned on at cotton setting and some parchment paper, which is the one thing I did not think to grab. And you place the parchment paper on top of your design 
and you iron it for four minutes. And then when you're done, you will reverse the shirt and turn it inside out. I'll bet you are, Sandra. There comes a time when we just have to stop moving, you know what I mean? <laughs> we just don't have it in us anymore. All right, there's the words. Okay. I'm going to do the cherries. You know what? I'm going to do the squirts too. Because I really like that idea of having them red. So you only have 10 days left, up to 10 days left. Hopefully that'll be here before you know it. So what do you, Sandra, what do you do if you, you know, having to wait that long, do you just not look around anymore and hope for the best? Or do you continue to look just in case? I mean, I don't see why there would be a reason they didn't prove it, but I was just curious. That's something that crossed my mind last night. One more little squirt right there. Okay. Now the cherries. I think I'll use a bigger one for the actual cherries. When I eat my cherries, this part of the stem is usually red. Okay, now I need another small one. Whoopsie. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, definitely praying. That just seems kind of ludicrous to be putting people in that position. That's all I'm going to say. Nothing more negative. I'm just going to keep praying. So now I'm just touching the leaves, make them green. All right, now I need to scrape off the excess. It's interesting how you can see the design once you start scraping off all that excessive paste or ink. The design just shines through. <laughs> and I want to do the sleeve as well. I'm going to put some cherries on the sleeve. Oh, so I'm confused. So you have to do all that first and then wait to see if they approve you? I'm 
Out here, we pay the application fee. I don't think we put the deposit down first and then see if we get approved. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. It's been quite a while. The house I'm in now. No, we didn't put the deposit down when we got into the duplex. Taking all the excess off of the green. And now I'm about to peel to reveal. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, I better wash my hands. Got black ink on my fingertips. Okay. I'm going to put this over here, away from my shirt. So I can put my transfer on top of it, away from the shirt. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm liking it so far. Loving it so far. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to set this over here on top of my transfer. Now, I see a spot. Let me straighten this shirt out. That I want to fix. Right there. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of ink on there. The eye didn't come all the way through. You know, I'm going to blow dry it before I pull it off of the um, mat. It's about to get loud here for just a second. That I want to touch up. So I'm going to clean this off. Dip it in the green and dab it on right there. And dab it on right here. There we go. I am loving this. Okay, I'm going to blow dry a little bit more. It's about to get loud. happening to my shirt and I if I don't move stuff out of the way I will make it happen okay so I take it off of this mat now Whoop, I almost set that on the glue and so here it is so far Life is a bowl of cherries. Make it sweet. Now, I want to put some cherries right here. I'm going to figure out how to do this without getting ink all over my shirt. So, I'm going to fold this shirt, the sleeve, in half. My heat press is ready. Thank you, Sandra. I think she's going to love it, too. And so this time I'm going to be smart. <laughs> I'm going to put this in between so that I don't bump up against the seam and totally mess up the design and so that I don't get ink on the other side of the shirt. 
And then, let's see. I need to go grab my parchment paper. I'll be right back. extra careful you don't have to do this much um, protection kind of thing it's just me because I'm messy <laughs> I'm a messy messy crafter so I'm gonna set the parchment paper over here and then I'm gonna take this I'm trying to decide if I want do I want do I want here's what I'm trying to decide okay I just want to put it on the sleeve. Should I put the single cherry count or should I put the little bunch? Can you see it? There's the single or the bunch. I'm thinking a single. What do you think? Single, single? I'm going to go with single. So I'm going to place this on here. Um, I need to be extra careful. Either that or I just need to wash this, one or the other. If I wash it, I'll have to dry it really good. Alright, so. <laughs> probably should wash it. It'd probably be a lot easier if I did that. I'm going to put this right there. So I want to make sure the parchment paper covers up where the black ink will be. There we go. There we go. Okay. And I will need the red and the green. I do have tie pins in case I get some ink where I don't want it. Hopefully that won't happen. Okay, let's see how we did. Oh, looky there. Yay. It worked. Okay, so now I'm going to put this right here so I can wash it when I'm done. I need to blow dry this a little bit. I do want to dab a little tiny bit of red. And I'm seeing it all over my fingers, so I'm gonna have to wash my fingers really quick. But, a little tiny bit of red right here. And a little bit of the red right here. Okay, I'm going to blow dry it so it's about to get loud.
to dab a little bit of green on the leaf. Much better. A little bit more drying. I don't know if you can tell, but I accidentally see it went through. I accidentally got a little bit of black in the cherry. But I love it because it gives it a little bit of a, you know, a shading, a little bit of a 3D shading. So, now, the reason I blow dried it was because um, my past experience has been if I move it without blow drying it, it gets, I end up messing it up somehow. <laughs> and um, you really want to wait until it is dry anyway to heat set it. So you don't want it to be like all tacky when you heat set it. And since I took a blow dryer to this and it's not a major, big, massive picture, it's perfectly ready to be set. So now, I've been touching my shirt and I've got ink on my hands. So I've been lucky so far. Now, to heat set it. Going to put this underneath. I need something in between. I prefer to put something in between just to make sure the heat doesn't transfer through to the back. I'm sure it won't because it's dry, but that's just me being extra cautious. So I'm just sticking a cardboard in there. Now I'm going to place my parchment paper over the design, and if I had an iron at this point, I would just be ironing it for four minutes. But I have a heat press, so I'm going to make sure it's on the entire design, and it'll set for 30 seconds. So, Sandra T, are you staying home tonight, or are you, do you have festivities planned? Nine more seconds. Now again, this is the new July Club Couture Transfer, and you can only get this transfer by being a member of the club. And, um... I've also got something extra going on in my um, VIP group. If you'd like to check into it, you're going to stay home. Ah. <laughs> um, so just message me, club or VIP, and um, I'll share you with you what extra I've got going on in the VIP group that goes along with the club couture membership. All right, I'll do this one real quick, and then I'm going to turn the shirt inside out. Make sure I'm on the pad. I'm going to set for 30 seconds. I am taking my parents to go to a barbecue with the family that I kind of ended up... I always joke around, and I said I leached on to them. <laughs> I met my friend Stacy, who used to be my roommate in the duplex, um, right after, shortly after my 23-year-old was born, while going through a divorce. We were both going through a divorce at the same time. In her family, I didn't know very many people here in Oklahoma at that time, and her family just kind of took me in. So I'm their second daughter, and the sec, you know, the additional niece or aunt and, and cousins or whatever, in-laws <laughs> um, to the family. 
So my blood family will be going and hanging out and meeting my uh, my second family, my other family, for the first time today. So it'll be fun. I'm sure it'll be fun. All right. So now I'm putting this through again because just to be sure, I don't want any of this ink getting onto the back of the shirt. And I have to set this side. And this will be permanently set. Did, uh, machine washable. I throw it in the machine. I throw my shirts that I've inked in the machine, wash it on cold, and then I dry it. I dry my clothes on the lowest temperature available. If you don't have like extremely low temp like I do on my dryer, um, I haven't tried drying it on normal heat, but I don't dry any of my clothes on normal heat. I've always considered the dryer to be evil. <laughs> The dryer is plotting against us women, and it shrinks everything we own. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, and now I gotta do the sleeve. The sleeve is on this side. Look how that went through. I'm loving this. Look at that. It went through pretty good. All right. 30 seconds on this, and then it will be finished. And then what I'll do is take it downstairs, and I'll give it to her, and I'll see if I can get her to model it for me. Now, when you use parchment paper, it's very important that it's actually parchment paper and not wax paper. Wax paper does not work for this job. I'm not sure why. I think I need to learn the difference between parchment paper and, lead and wax paper. I bought some parchment paper from Dollar Tree because they were on sale for 50 cents. And I tried to use it for this purpose and it didn't work. So parchment paper from Dollar Tree, I would not recommend the use of that for sure. Okay, here we go. Side up, move this out of the way, and turn that off. So here's the sleeve. And there's the front. All permanently set and ready. To be worn. And that's it for today. I love this. That's it for today. Um, thank you for joining me, Auntie Carrie and Cheryl and Sandra T. It was so fun having you. And if you're watching replay, please type hashtag replay in the comments. If you're interested in checking out the Club Couture, this is the transfer you you will receive this month. Um, and if you are interested in what I've got going on in the VIP group involving the Club Couture, let me know. Just comment club and VIP, and um, I'll get you set up. Otherwise, oh, if you're watching on YouTube and if you're liking what you see, please be sure to hit subscribe and click on the bell so you can be notified anytime something new gets posted. All right, thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.